this day at the Staples Center as Florida State continue its preparations for the Sweet 16 matchup against Gonzaga. Welcome back to Los Angeles. I'm Lane Hurt. After upsetting Xavier to advance to the Sweet 16, the Knowles could easily have rested on their laurels, but not this team. They got together this week and decided that if they want to do something special, they've got to lock in. I think we celebrated in the locker room, but I think after that, everybody came to the bus and they knew what we had to do next. So everybody was, you know, still locked in and, you know, ready to watch the next film for the next game. Uh, definitely something we have to talk about because, you know, none of us been here before. Um, but then at the same time, you know, everybody kind of knows in the back of your head that you got to regroup and get ready. Perhaps no one for the Seminoles is more familiar with the Zags than Brian Angola. The senior played his junior college ball at North Idaho, just 31 miles from Gonzaga's campus. In fact, Angola went to every game while he was there, and he was hoping for a scholarship offer from the Bulldogs. Turns out that didn't happen, but I think things worked out well for Angola. Gonzaga was especially one of my top three schools. The consequence that happened that year was they have a lot of guards and I couldn't uh, be there, but I'm happy where I'm at right now, and, and I'm just at Florida State, Simona right now. Well, I actually went to every single game with them at the, at the home court, so it was, it was, it was kind of nice to know there. It was, it was fun. This Gonzaga team, one of the best in the country. They have the nation leading 16 game winning streak, the NCAA leading fourth straight appearance in the Sweet 16, no matter how you slice it, this Zags team has one of the premier programs in the country. They have balanced scoring, so any of their guys can really go off at any time, and they have good bigs and good guards, so I feel like they're a really good team all around. It's the fourth time they've been to the uh, Sweet 16. Uh, they won 30 games, I don't know. They went to the NCAA tournament 20 years in a row. I mean, so as far as I'm concerned, they're the best program on the West Coast, but they're similar to a lot of teams in the ACC. We play against a lot of teams just like them. The bottom line is we just got to be prepared to go be who we are. We got to be the best Florida State team we can be. And let's see what happens. It's Florida State versus Gonzaga for the right to go to the Elite Eight. That game on Thursday night, 7 o'clock here in town, 10 o'clock at home. Drink your coffee, your soda, whatever you need to stay awake. You don't want to miss a chance to watch the Seminoles advance to the Elite Eight. That'll wrap up our coverage for now. Lane Hurt, Seminoles.com.